know, I'm here to tell you all these items are going to help you smell good and stay clean all day throughout your school needs or even if you're out of school, real life. I know how to have the best hygiene throughout the school year. Stay tuned for this video. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she need her move. Like damn, she need her move. Hey y'all, Sierra Chardé here. If you're new, welcome. If you're already a current subscriber, welcome back to the channel, y'all. So I already know that back to school has coming up and that you guys need some hygiene tips. So that's what we're gonna be going over today. We're about to get right into all the products that you need from body care to teeth care to spray care to period care and to skin care. So first we're gonna start off with skin care. So for skin care under this makeup that I got on, you have to have great prep for your skin. So I start off with the Hard Candy Instant Eye Fix. This has vitamin E in it, caffeine and green tea. And this is perfect for anybody who has dark under eye circles. I have been using this for literally three weeks and I use it at nighttime and in the morning time. And it's just like a little ball and it's really cold and you squeeze it and you just put it under your eye. And literally rub that in and let it dry. And it's perfect. It will literally brighten your under eyes. And if you have that tired look, this is perfect for you. So I use this under my eyes. At nighttime, I also use the, the Ordinary Lactic Acid. This can dry your skin out. It's ultimately a peeling solution. It says it, it's a superficial peeling formulation. So it's gonna peel off all the like dead skin and dark marks that you may have. And it's known to lighten your skin. So you can use this anywhere. I've used this on my bikini area and on my face, but I use it twice a week. So two to three times a week out of the whole seven days. A little dropper like this, and you like fill it up and like this, and you just drop it on your skin. So I use at least like three drops. I do here, here, and here, and I rub it in. And so this is what it looks like. And yeah, that's what I use for my face at nighttime. In the morning time, I use Glow Recipe, I use the Brightening Toner and the Cinnamide Dew Drops. You can use these together whether you decide to put on makeup or not. This is what they look like. This one this is the Glow Recipe for Brightening Toner. And it has hyaluronic acid, cactus water, and willow bark. And it's supposed to hydrate and pore refine. It's a really like sticky consistency. So um, I just put this on the face morning and nighttime. And it's just gonna leave your skin very like glowy and all that this one is a nice cinnamide dew drops this one is a pump and i just use one pump and a little goes a long way i just put this all over my face as well after i apply the toner and i just have really good glowy skin and then basically to before i put any of that on i use the cetaphil daily facial cleanser to wash my face and this is for a combination of oily skin and sensitive skin so if you have like dry to oily i have mostly dry skin but this i can say this doesn't dry my skin out so um if you have oily skin this will work for you as well and it's good for like a nighttime cleaning makeup off or in the morning just for a refreshing look i use the cetaphil this one as well and it's just like a little pump one drop mixed with water and it just gets all the dirt away so before i do any of that i just told you i clean my face with this so this is my cleanser do not forget that skincare yes these products may work on your face, but you're eating as well and your diet controls, like if you have pimples, acne, et cetera, what you're putting in your body and your hormones and all that, you have to balance that as well if you want clear skin. So, so far I have no bumps on my skin. Also what has helped me is switching my pillowcases from cotton to silk. That has helped me as well and I haven't had any breakouts in at least since that happened. So that's about two months. Moving on to oral care, your teeth, you want a healthy smile and teeth and fresh breath. So first, what I go off with is these. These are the placards. These are um, basically floss for your teeth. You can use the regular floss or these floss. It doesn't really matter. Just as long as you're flossing. And I always floss before I brush my teeth. That's just what I have to do. Probably between um, about two or three of these because I don't just like when I pull gunk out of my teeth, I feel like that's really disgusting. So I just throw it away and get a new one. So I don't wipe it off. 
I get a new one. So that's why I say I go through between two and three when I'm flossing my teeth in the morning and at night time. So I use these crackers first before I brush my teeth. And then this is the toothpaste that I use. It's the Crest Pro Health. And this one is the Clean Mint. It's supposed to help with cavities, gingivitis, acid erosion, sensitivity, plaque, tartar, whitening, or fresh breath. I like the taste of this and the smell of this. It just smells like mint and it is blue. Uh, blue toothpaste. This is my second one as you can see and then this was my other one So yeah, as you can see this is my favorite toothpaste and I will never switch I like you know some toothpastes they have like a bad taste where it just doesn't mix with your mouth and I don't like that so Yeah, and then this is the mouthwash that I use after I get done brushing my teeth I put the mouthwash in I used to use I use their breath as well, but this is just what I picked up alcohol free as long as that mouthwash is alcohol free You should be good to go. But definitely just put some mouthwash in this is the clean mint one This is the advanced pro health one I use this to go with my toothpaste after I get done brushing my teeth And then if I decide to whiten my teeth at nighttime because I don't like whitening my teeth in the daytime because um, sometimes the whitening strips can leave like little white spots on your teeth and they don't go away until like three hours later. These 5D whitening strips that I got from Amazon. These will be linked in my Amazon storefront if you want to check these out. These are only $9 and they came with 20, I think 25 or 32. It doesn't say, but these are strips and with these strips, you want to make sure your teeth is dry, not wet. So you have to literally dry off your teeth and then apply these. Um, just so they stick. <laughs> Some people use the Crest whitening strips. They, those make my gums sore and they do have the sensitive kind. Whichever one's up to you, these and these have been working. Just apply and reveal. There's an upper strip and a lower strip. And these are also mint flavor. These will, after you get done using, <laughs> why I say make sure your teeth is dry because it leaves like a, um, you're going to want to wash your mouth out after you take these out. So, um, and also brush your teeth afterwards as well. And then while I'm using these, sometimes I use the Fairy Wheel, which is also, um, as you can see, the blue light. Um, this is also a teeth whitener and it has a timer on the back. So this is like a retainer. So before I bought the strips, I had the liquid. So you just put this in your mouth and then you, this goes inside. So it goes like this. That's how it looks. And you cut this on and then like the blue you will put the liquid cleaning solution on your bottom and top teeth and that's what it will look like so if you want to get that go to fairywell.com and it comes with the little strips as well so it'll tell you where your teeth level is and then like from yellow to white so as you gradually use it you can go from dull to super white teeth on to the body care so for body care, this is what I use. So while I'm in the shower, I wash my face with the Cetaphil. For my body, I use a Dial Bar. Good antibacterial bar. You're gonna want to clean your skin before you apply all the smell good stuff. So this is a good cleanser to get all the dirt and bacteria off. If you suffer with back acne, inky armpits, just full body, feet, etc., anything that can stink or produce sweat and odor, use this and I promise you, you will see a difference, okay? Because this is uh, antibacterial. So what causes sweat? The bacteria when it mixes with your skin. So deodorant is not gonna help you. You're gonna have to get that bacteria from under your arms and then put your deodorant on and then you will see a major difference, okay? So this is the first step. I cleanse my skin. Cleanse your skin with Dial. Then I go to the Smell Good products. I have two. I use Dove. So you can either use the unscented dove or you can use something that smells good which is this so i use the dove shea butter bar soap or i go in with the native coconut and vanilla as you can see both of these have shea butter and vanilla yeah, i'm a vanilla girl so i'm going to layer my scents and when i show you my perfumes later you will see why you what i use to apply both of these is a loofah so i use two things in the shower i use a loofah for my body and then i use a washcloth for my my private area use one of these right here to apply my body wash and i just pour it on there and i go through and wash my skin okay this is still wet because i used it this morning but yeah i just hang this in my shower and yeah i buy these you can get these from the dollar store or you can get these in a three pack in a two pack make sure you're switching these out every week
okay? You're gonna buy these a lot. Some people don't like these, some people like the exfoliating gloves, whatever you wanna use, you can use it. I prefer this because it leaves a good lather and I'm not using a bunch of products. I come with a washcloth when I use my feminine wash. I'm gonna show you my feminine wash. This is the feminine wash that I use. I used to use Honey Pot, but I was a little musty after the Honey Pot. It wasn't worth it for me. That means that I was not getting clean the bacteria that was in my feminine area. This. This right here, VH Essential Feminine Wash with tea tree and probiotics, that's key in a feminine wash. You will have no smell after using this, I promise you. No smell. Get this right here. They have it at CVS or Amazon. I haven't seen it anywhere else. They need to expand their stores because this is like so hard to come by for whatever reason. I always buy two of these at a time, but it does the job and I will not ever cheat on VH Essential. Feminine area has been just kiss okay so it's off and then i get out the shower and i dry off so what i use for my deodorant i use dove this is the powder it smells like baby powder literally and i love this and i just apply it under my arms and i'm good to go after i get out of the shower as well i use the ordinary glyconic acid toning i use this mostly when i either shave or just in the mood to handle some dark spots so I use this on my elbows, I use this under my arms, and I use this on the bikini area. This is also a toning solution, so it's going to lighten the area. I would not use this daily. I would use this once or twice a week. As you can see, I've had this bottle for a minute, and I'm like a third through as well. And then to lotion up, I have two scents right now. I, I'm i going to stick by Vaseline, okay? I love me some Vaseline. I would never stop using Vaseline. I don't use any other type of lotion because they just, I have dry skin. So I have to have something that moisturizes my skin. So I will forever use Vaseline. It could be an off-brand Vaseline. I'm gonna use it, but this is gonna keep me from being ashy all day. This is the cocoa butter version. And this goes, this goes with my body wash, shea butter vanilla. It just smells, so good, and I just read up on this, so this is a big one. So I use this on my ankles, everywhere, elbows. You will not catch me being ashy. I put this on my face, I put this everywhere. Like, I have super dry skin, and I can't stand being ashy, so this is what I use. And then, on top of that, I use the EOS. This is the other lotion that I use. This is moisturizing as well, but I use it after I apply this one. This is the travel size one, well, the small one. This is the Shea Butter in Vanilla Cashmere. Oh my God, this smells so good. Like I said, I love layering scents. So this is why I got the Shea Butter and Vanilla, because it's vanilla. So my body wash is vanilla, my soap is vanilla, my Vaseline, and then my lotion. So all day I smell like what? Vanilla. And then I get to my perfumes and they have a hint of vanilla in it. So I just smell like a snack all day. But yeah, I love this lotion. It smells so freaking good and it lasts all day. And a quick tip, if you want to layer any of your scents, apply Vaseline whether it's a perfume or anything like that. Apply Vaseline first. And I'm gonna move on to my two scents. These are um, my little bottles because I don't wanna bring my big bottles, but I use this perfume as Valentino. As you know, you know, Valentino. This is the pink one. It smells so good and I love it. I think it's a night fragrance by Bath & Body Works. I love this fragrance. It smells so good. And this is the only one I get now from Bath & Body This one is the Body Mist from Victoria's Secret, the vanilla one. It smells so good. Like I love anything vanilla. It smells so freaking good. And I don't have that with me right now, but the Bath and Body Works one from the vanilla one, I'll put a picture right here so that you can see it and you can go buy it if you wanna buy it. Period care, these are my three must-haves whenever I'm on my period or my menstrual cycle. I these wipes, okay? And I use the unscented sensitive skin brand. I don't use no fragrance, nothing. I don't, need, I don't even use fragrance toilet paper. If it's fragrance, I do not use it. I use these. You should be using these anyway if you're a woman and you do number two because tissue just must not doesn't get everything. For daytime, throughout the day, I use the Walgreens Super Perfection Silk Smooth Applicator in unscented super i always use super tampons i don't use regular when you're on your period care i will also recommend um drinking tea but i will show you that later in one second but these are the tampons that i use i do not use always brand just cannot use always brand 
either I get cramps or my period. I just get so much discomfort in my stomach area when I use different tampons that are not these. So this is the ones I've been sticking to right now and I'm about to switch from these to Nancy from Target, the organic ones that are made from cotton. So soon for the pads, I use these from Walgreens as well. I only use pads at nighttime. I do not wear tampons at nighttime. Do not wear tampons at nighttime. I repeat, do not wear tampons at nighttime. Mostly because you're sleeping and you're supposed to change your tampon every two to three hours and if you're sleeping, it's gonna be up there for more than that. So I just would not recommend that. I would actually put these on. I use the long flexible wings and the ultra super, ultra thin and they're super. So they're super, super thin. They're not thick, bulky down there. I just can't walk around with a pad throughout the day. Like it's just to me logically not clean, nasty, and I just don't like it. I hate getting the ones that have like what 12 or 13 in the back. Like what am I gonna do with that? Get the big one. Have uh, the tea that you could be drinking um, if you have like cramps or anything like that on your period as well. The big boy, but this is what it is. It's the Yogi Breathe Deep Respiratory Health. Um, I use this because it has several herbs in it. It has licorice root, it has eucalyptus, tusa leaf, ginger root, cinnamon bark, thyme, and melanin leaf. This is a good, good tea. And another good tea is the dandelion root tea that you could be taking at nighttime because it's going to make you sleepy. But definitely use tea while you're on your period because it's going to help with cramps, alleviate any irritation, and just overall relaxes you. Another thing that I use is probiotics. And I have two. So this is the Lacto Lactobif Probiotics. I use these. I mostly help you with going to the bathroom, but when you're on your cycle, you go to the bathroom anyway. But if you have any kind of gut health issue, issues, I would definitely use these. There's also the Love Wellness Probiotics. They're in the blue bottle. I'll leave a picture of them right here while I'm talking. These are great for no smell down there. They are like 25 to $30 at Target, but it's worth it. And I will use those maybe twice a week or three times a week. Those will cause you to have no smell and just overall great feminine health. You know, to go through trial and error and you learn your body and you learn hormones when you're growing up and going to school and stuff like that from middle school to high school, high school to college, etc., and so forth. And if you don't know, I'm here to tell you all these items are gonna help you smell good and stay clean all day throughout your school needs or even if you're out of school, real life. So thank you for guys watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Like damn, she need her move. 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 She lit. Your money too.